We at PyDrive know that data security is one of the most important components of a customer-facing business. With PyDrive's security dashboard feature, you're given full transparency of user access and security-related events in your PyDrive account, as well as tips on how to improve the security of your business. Sounds too good to be true? Well, let's get into the nitty-gritty. And so, here we are, the PyDrive security dashboard. One of the first things you may notice is the Right Now section in the top left corner here. It's here you can see a quick overview of what's happening right now, how many people are logged in, and from which locations. If you click on these numbers, you can get more details. The Right Now section is a summary of all your active devices, but we'll get back to that in just a moment. This last seven days section here is sort of your go-to source to know info about recent account access anomalies and security event statistics for your company. You can see, for instance, the number of new devices and what locations were detected for user accounts in the past seven days. Again, if you click on any of these numbers, you can see additional info, and in this case, you also see which new device or location was detected, on whose account, and when. Then you can also see the number of security events from the audit log in the table below. Now, a security event isn't necessarily a bad thing, it's just any event related to security, like a user changing their password, for example. Forced logouts show the number of times the logout or logout all buttons has been clicked. This is done from the devices or security dashboard page. If any of the above looks out of the ordinary, then you can look for additional details from tables below and take necessary actions if needed. Now this security assessment section will give you a report on what PyDrive believes are potential security vulnerabilities in your PyDrive account. And this is based off of our best practices and available security features. Clicking on the question mark next to each measure will provide you a tool tip from PyDrive on how you can improve this particular security measure in your company settings. Now, please note that depending on the nature of the setup of your business, then some of these security measures may not necessarily be critical for your company. Now let's move on to the active devices. Here you can see who is currently logged in, and with what device, where from, and which authentication method was used. You can sort or filter this table, and if you'd like, you can even export the results. But if you notice anything suspicious here, such as a user who is logged in from a country that can't be correct, and an account could be compromised, then we recommend you to force log out this device. Then it may be best to contact your employee and have them change their password or maybe even enable two-factor authentication. If you can't contact your employee, then we recommend you deactivate their user account until the account login's credentials are changed. And if you happen to be lucky enough to experience a company-wide attack, you can even use the log out all button, but be very cautious with it, as all unsaved changes from these devices will be lost. In device history, you can see the same info for all devices that are already logged in, but you can also see since when they were logged in and how. Device history shows info of the last 60 days. And also here you can sort, filter, or export the results. Now, last but not least, under the audit log section, you'll be provided with a log of all security-related changes made in your company account by any user in the past two months. Here you can see, for example, when someone was added to PyDrive, when they exported some data, or which visibility group they're in, and so on. So the audit log is a place that helps you kind of dig deeper and investigate potential threats to your company data. And that's the security dashboard, a place where you can manage user access and security-related activity in your company's account and get tips to protect your business data.